When I was a uh, student at, at Loyola University in Los Angeles, I uh, began taking play classes uh, to fill out my requirements. Robert Carr Lindsay was my professor, and uh, he was very inspiring uh, and got me excited and uh, began my love uh, of clay and the search for the perfect piece. Hello, I'm David Porras, and I'm a potter from Yucaipa, California, and I'm real excited to have an opportunity to uh, talk to you about my process. I did uh, uh, start working as a production potter in a factory, but also I opened a studio in Playa del Rey. Ran a studio there for about five years. I later decided to go to law school. I graduated uh, with a Juris Doctor degree and have been practicing law for the past 32 years. I throw things, uh, throw is a term, uh, throw things on the potter's wheel and I don't use any molds or, or, or guides. It's all in, uh, intuitive uh, to what I think the, the piece should be. And so that uh, allows a, um, uh, a lot of freedom and spontaneity that is um, really sort of the hallmark of making pieces and that's what you want to have. You want to have a spontaneous and fresh piece each and every time. I do believe I have a, a certain style. It's a, 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 the Yukaipa style. I'll, I'll say that because I, I had a, a friend at one point saying how, how neat the pottery that was being made in Germany at, from this one particular town. And uh, that uh, it was a, a town that was famous for its salt glazed pottery. And I had to think for a second, my retort was, uh, geez, the, the, my style in, in uh, the Yukaipa style is the style that I make. My craftsman upbringing, uh, and I do consider myself a craftsman more than an artist, uh, is to, to make things that work. The, the uh, pictures have to work. You know, the mug has to feel good in your hand. And the jar has to, the lid's got to fit. Dishwasher safe, microwave oven, and more importantly, use every day. My uh, background is, is as a production potter where I worked in a factory and I would make the same thing eight hours a day. I got very good at making things. And so that's no longer the challenge for me. The challenge for me is to make unique items. And each uh, piece of uh, pottery that I make, I have well over a hundred different glazes that I use. And, and uh, a glaze is a, is a color that I put over the surface. Uh, and mix, mixing and matching and making those uh, 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 colors work together is what I'm looking for when I open up a kill. And uh, I get the, the experience of doing that and it's always challenging, always frustrating, but it always brings me back. I fire pottery in, in three different atmospheres and the first is natural gas, uh, the second is electric, and the third is wood fire. Now, I don't have a wood fire kill, but I do have the natural gas and electric, so I'm more experienced with that. But each of them has a, a tremendous uh, um, uh, ch technical challenge, and that creates an excitement uh, and uh, wonder and anxiety and pure joy when the kill is opened, because I'm not quite sure what I'll get. And because of that, it continues to challenge me to, to make very interesting pieces. Uh, I was uh, giving a uh, demonstration at an art show uh, locally here in Yukaipa when um, a gentleman walked up and looked at me and I looked at him and he said, I'll be back. And I said, okay. And he left and that was a Saturday. On Sunday, I see the gentleman approach me and he's got a bag, brown, brown paper bag. And he, he says, I want to show you something. And he opened up the bag and pulled out a piece of pottery. And he says, I got this from you in 1975. And I said, I remember making that piece. And it's because that, that I remember the experience of going through. And even though it had been uh, 35 years at that point, from the time that I had originally made that pot, I remember that pot because I experienced each piece. It's 
personal to me. Uh, the technical side of making something is not a big challenge. What, uh, what I'm uh, challenged by is uh, bringing the piece to a, a final form. It's always the search for that perfect piece. And uh, I've been making pots for a long time. Haven't got the perfect piece yet, but that's, that's the challenge that gets me out into the studio every day. Uh, my wife Nanette and my partner Nanette uh, is, is got a significant uh, background in, in art. She has a fine arts degree and art history degree from Loyola Marymount. She also has a certificate degree from uh, UCLA in interior design and environmental design. Uh, also she has a, a, a certificate uh, from uh, University of Redlands in teaching and so we collaborate uh, here at our uh, home studio. She's very, very good uh, and has established her own style uh, with the carving process uh, on pieces. So people ask me uh, the, the, this question uh, of how long it takes to make something. I can tell them it, it, uh, the uh, initial throwing process uh, after, you, after you get the clay um, ready is minutes, 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. There are several steps beyond that, uh, the trimming, uh, the sanding. So the process of, uh, to take a piece from start to finish, if you were to use a stopwatch, would probably be four or five hours. However, uh, the, the true answer to make a finished piece is 45 years. So my search is to find pieces, uh, I make functional pieces, find pieces that people uh, want to use. And uh, when they do, uh, then they have, a, it's not just one, one time uh, purchase for them, they get a chance to use it over and over. And because of that, I think that uh, um, uh, that is uh, very exciting for me when a customer comes back at some point and uh, says, I love using that bowl, I use it every day. And because of that, um, it motivates me to make that next piece. Uh, Art for Heaven's Sakes uh, is a, a tremendous opportunity for artists in our area to show their work. I uh, started uh, uh, displaying there in 2006, and with actually displaying my pottery for sale, I also demonstrate on a potter's wheel. If you decide to purchase one of my uh, pieces, they'll be offered uh, and uh, you'll uh, be able to pay for those items through PayPal and we'll arrange for you to pick up the items or we'll deliver the items to you or we'll ship them to you at, at uh, our cost. Please visit my website, davidporuspottery.com.